The Red Cross is calling on people to donate blood as it struggles uh, to supply and cope with the demand at the moment. Yeah, one in three Australians will rely on a blood donor in their lifetime. But only 3% of Aussies give blood each year. And the Red Cross needs more than 27,000 donations each week to maintain levels around the country. They're extraordinary Amazing stats. statistics. Cindy. For more on what we can do to help, we're joined by Australian Red Cross Ambassador Dr Cindy Pan. Good morning to you, Cindy. Good Welcome. Morning. Supplies of blood types are needed to save lives of thousands of people. Uh, how much of a difference does one single blood donation make? One donation can save up to three lives. Really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And, uh, we all believe that blood will, will be there if we need it, but, but a very small percentage of, of people are donating. Uh, how critical are blood supplies? Sarah? Well, they need, um, as you said, 27,000 a week to meet with current demand, but it's um, estimated that in the next um, couple of years that that um, is going to increase even further mm. and uh, they, they're going to need to double the supply. Okay, who's eligible to go and donate and help start saving lives? How long does it take? Any healthy fit person between the age of 16 and 70 may be eligible and they can yeah. go to donateblood.com.au to look at the further details yeah. and um, altogether it'll take about an hour. You're only actually 10 minutes giving natural blood but there's a, like a bit of an interview and they yep. give you a cup of tea afterwards. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, give us a breakdown Cindy, how um, donated blood is used, what, 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 how does it help? Well, um, about 30% uh, is used for people with cancer and blood diseases, um, mm. a further 19% for patients with other kinds of anemia, about 18% for surgical patients, 14% um, for other medical problems like kidney, heart and uh, bowel disease, and then about 10% for orthopaedic patients, only 4% for pregnant women and new mothers, and, and most people will be surprised to learn it's only about 2% for um, trauma patients, so things mm. like car accidents, that sort of thing. See, I'm I was part of that 4% of the new mothers. Oh, I really? Really? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Is it one of those things with the blood bank that we always hear about it w when it's an emergency, like we're down to the last supplies? It's something that we should do. I know a lot of people do because we're just next door to actually, do, you know, do it regularly, book it in. Ideally, yeah. yeah. A person can give um, regular blood about four times a year, right. but you can give plasma up to every two weeks and platelets every four weeks if you want to. Okay. And unfortunately at the moment, um, Australia is relying on about half a million people who are donors, but there's 24 million people and so there's number, all those people yeah. to be supplied and only, you know, this very small two to three percent of who are people yeah. actually donating. Mm, and they should say, it's really easy to do. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't take very long and, and it's painless. And uh, yeah, it's, a lot of people are interested in doing charity and often it's about giving money and giving time. I mean, this is something that is incredibly valuable yeah. that, that really we can't get any other way other mm. than through people donating. Gee, and you know what, that is such a powerful message for that short amount of time and that commitment, you could help save like three lives, which is a terrific message, Cindy. Thank you very much for it's a pleasure. joining us today. Thank you. All right, if you'd like to give blood, you can contact the Australian Red Cross Blood Service on 131495 or visit www.donateblood.com.au. All the details there for you.